nickname, the Bosnian Butcher. I love that. <laughs> that is a good one. And here we go for the Gamma Light Heavyweight title, Warriors Cup 53, Liam Tarrant and Molly Silvernagel joining you. Julian Anser in the red corner, Adele Lalek in the blue corner, and another five round fight on the books here. Now, I haven't seen Adele fight before. Um, Julian's very Thai style, so I'm excited to see what Adele is gonna do. Now Adele is just coming off a fight, fighting for a 185 pound title against another Southpaw. And he tells us he's quite accustomed. He's been training for Southpaws for a while. Ansa just so long though, and that left kick so hard. They're feeling each other out. As we mentioned, that first round, you don't want to be too reckless. You can't give it away. You want kind of gauging, hitting your opponent, seeing what they do, how do they react. Mm -hmm. Well, and I'm excited that for this one, Julian actually made it to the ring. <laughs> you know, he, he hurt his knee last time he was uh, fighting on the way to the ring. So we're, we're glad that he made it down the stairs safely this time. Fighters constantly in danger, whether it's in the <laughs> ring or outside. Julian Anza has been waiting to get back for a long time. Mm -hmm. and, oh, that was a great kick from Adele. Very slick from Ansa as well, angling around there. Nice body kick from Ansa. Adele so far has really good movement. He's got great ring control and really good spatial awareness. Punishing low kicks too. As we said, Adele Law, like an extremely experienced fighter, fighting since 2009, also with a three and five MMA record. Oh, wow. You can see how much he's just watching. Gauging, watching, <laughs> waiting, analyzing, and executing. That will be an end to the first round. Four more to go. Both fighters have seen what their opponent brings to the ring. And no doubt both of them with their sights on that Gamma Light Heavyweight ch Championship. Vinny Scotto in the corner there with Julian Anser. And folks, you can follow the Warriors Cup at Warriors Cup underscore 3PP on social media. You can follow me at Liam Talks Fights and Molly at Molly underscore Silver Bagel. Keep up with all the action. Warriors Cup constantly putting on shows of the highest caliber. That's why they are the sole partner with one championship, putting on the Road to One Series, the biggest tournament in American Muay Thai history. And here we go, second of five scheduled two minute rounds. Adele Lalek in the blue, Ooh. Julian Anser in the red. From those corners, blow. which can oftentimes happen in, a, in an orthodox versus southpaw fight. Solid left kick from answer. Mm -hmm. Nice block there from Lalek. Yeah, I'm impressed with how he's checking the kicks because sometimes Julian's kicks come in pretty fast. To the clinch, trying to work there. Lalek doing a nice job blocking with that shin. Ooh, good turn. The referee, Chris Romulo, breaking them up, not seeing enough action, and he gets it going once again from striking range. Nice solid left kick coming all the way from Staten Island. And again. It's hard to check kicks when they're uh, coming to your rear side. So Lalek in that instance was blocking with his arm, um, which is better than getting it on your ribs, but it can still add up, and that's targeting his power arm. So it's a dangerous aim. Although, he did just catch a kick and then come right in for the clinch. Answer pressing Lalek against the ropes there. Mm -hmm. We'll see if Lalek can reverse it, as he has done so many times so far. Yeah, Julian is good at putting his weight on you and just like forcing his opponents into the ropes. The scoring criteria, 70% effective aggression, 20% ring generalship, and 
pure aggression. So we're seeing who in this can apply the more effective aggression throughout the fight. Nice solid kick there. And when those kicks land, even though they're getting blocked, as you'd mentioned before, Molly, mm -hmm. they're still scoring because Lalek is not answering back. Yeah, you have to be sure to answer back. End of the second round. In my opinion, I think that round was all answer coming out of the red corner. Lalek doing a nice job staying in there, but I think answer started pulling ahead in that one. Yeah, I think um, in the next round, I would want to see Adele kind of come forward, be a little more um, proactive and kind of initiating exchanges. But it could also, we're coming up on the third round, so that could just be kind of the end of the feeling out period. Now it's really into the, effectively, the meat of the fight. The butcher may start going to work on the meat of the fight here in the <laughs> third round. I set that one up well. <laughs> you set him up, I'll knock him out. <laughs> And folks, do not forget to tune in for our next event, July 21st. The card is already full with the best Muay Thai competitors in the country. We are not even through tonight, and I'm looking forward to the next night already. Three of a scheduled five two-minute rounds. We call to start. Julian's one of those people that likes to fight backwards. Ooh, very solid left hand. Wow, that oh two goodness. solid left hands. That will be an eight count for Adele Lalic. Those were, you saw Lalic's head snap back yeah. with those. I think that might be the fight. Lalic is not gonna make the 10 count. And that is it, Julian Answer has come in and taken the Gamma wow. Light Heavyweight title, 178 pounds. Julian Answer, as you mentioned, back from an injury, happy to be back. Very exciting fight. That's kind of the, the Julian that, you know, Julian knew he was. And now that we all know he is. Julian Answer going over to his opponent's corner like a true sportsman, congratulating mm -hmm. him. And after you have that experience with another person in the ring, it's nothing but respect. There's no Absolutely, way that yeah. it couldn't be. You both tested each other to your limits. You both pushed each other mm -hmm. through all the things going on in your life. You've trained, you've gotten ready, and through it all, you got yourself to that ring without injuring yourself on the way to the ring. At the end of <laughs> yeah. Let's get a replay here and check out how this fight ended. Ooh, see that first solid left hand? He was stumbling, and then another one comes in. It was that first one that really seemed to do the damage, yeah. Molly. Wow, fantastic work. Answer saw that Lalek was stunned on that and he just started pouring it on. Yeah. And I well, am- Well, and these guys are, you know, 178 pounds, so all of that power that kind of comes with being that size. And it looked like Lalek was coming in and was walking towards that punch, so that's almost like a car crash. Like it multiplied the effects yeah. of the force. Lalek coming towards him and Answer just line, lining it up. Well, Lalek was doing exactly what, you know, we were hoping he would do it, press a little bit forward. Unfortunately, it was just bad timing. For the official decision, we will go to Michael Hansen. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, our referee, Chris Romulo, called his stop to the contest at 24 seconds of round number three, declaring your winner by knockout. <laughs> and now, the undisputed Gamma Regional Light Heavyweight Champion, Julian the Thundercat Julian Answer taking the championship, and I know one person watching from afar is Chris Arena.